Today, there are a lot of applications running on our smartphones. They could be via scanning, speech recognition and image conversion. These applications require storage, computing capacity and energy to be processed. However, our mobile devices are limited in terms of battery and computing capacities. Therefore, computation of loading was proposed as a solution. Conventionally, application tasks are forwarded to a cloud server. Then, the tasks are processed at the cloud and returned to the mobile device. However, cloud server may be physically and logically far from the mobile device, which incurs high latency response. Therefore, tasks are offloaded to edge devices, which are nearby access points possessing computing capacity. As a result, we reduce the mobile device's latency and the network backbone traffic. Another way to reduce the energy consumption and the application's latency is to use dynamic voltage and frequency scaling. It is a technology allowing mobile devices CPU elastically changed depending on the workload. Therefore, the FIOVS help mobile devices saving energy and application's latency. However, there are some research challenges. Optimization frameworks for computation of loading need to handle both communications and computing resources of devices, mobile devices and, and, and edge devices. And also, can we combine computation of loading and DFEFS to reduce the mobile device's energy consumption and the application's latency? In this video, we will present our paper of loading in mobile edge computing, task allocation and computation of frequency scaling which was published on IEEE Transaction and Communication on August 2017. In paper, we have four main contributions. First, we mathematically model our computation offloading system where a mobile device can offload to multiple edge devices. Second, in this model, the mobile device can optimize its offloading decision and CPU frequency to reduce its energy consumption and application's latency. Third, we show the relationship between the gain of energy and latency reduction and the number of edge devices. Finally, we show the impact of CPU frequency on the offloading decision. About the first two contributions, we consider a model where mobile device can associate with multiple edge nodes. At the mobile device, there are several application tasks needed to be processed. Mobile device decides two things, where to process a given task and its local CPU frequency. Here, the mobile device wants to reduce both its energy consumption and application's latency. The mobile device consumes energy when it processes tasks locally and when it uploads tasks and downloads results. The mobile device consumes time when it communicates with edge nodes and waits for the results and when it processes tasks locally. We mathematically model our system as an optimization problem where the mobile device wants to minimize the weighted sum of energy consumption and application latency. T is for latency, E is for energy, X is the offload indecision, R0 is the CPU frequency, lambda T and lambda E are the weights of the two metrics. If we focus more on energy consumption, then we increase the value of lambda E. After solving the optimization model, we observe that when the number of edge nodes increases, although the energy consumption and latency decrease, the margins decrease. It is a diminishing return phenomenon. Finally, we also observe the impact of CPU frequency on the offload decision. On our simulation, the CPU frequency is investigated in a range from R minus sigma to R plus sigma. We saw that in the case of highly focused on energy consumption, the frequency range can change offloading decisions from offload all tasks to edge node to locally process all tasks. You can check the proof of this phenomenon in detail on our paper. For more detailed information, please look on our paper on IEEE Transaction on Communication. Thank you.